Good morning, guys. Right now it's 8.34 in the morning, and it's also my birthday. <laughs> Birthdays are really weird. I feel like I've never had, like, a good birthday. It's so weird because I'm turning 21, and when I was, like, a kid in middle school, I would always be like, oh my god, I'm gonna turn 21, and I'm gonna go to Coachella. Because every time my birthday's on a weekend, it's on Coachella. And so I was always like, I'm gonna be at Coachella. And bitch, look at me now. Sitting in my car in Massachusetts. Mind you, why would I even wanna go to Coachella? Like, before it was kind of a fantasy, like back in the day, when my life as Ava would go. But now, I don't wanna be sweating in the desert. I don't wanna be taking showers with, with hoses. And most of the people that go don't even care about the music, so I'm gonna try to listen to someone say, I wanna get kinda close, obviously, I wanna see. You know, this be walking around with, with your trulies in your hand, doing your brand deals. Like, I, that is not fun to me, Diva. Yeah, I don't think, also, I hate being hot and I hate sweating, because it gives me eczema. And people don't even like do coke at Coachella like they used to. I'm not saying that I do coke. That used to be like the thing, like Coachella used to be like the coke fest. I, it's probably good that they don't, it's probably good that they don't do coke anymore. But anyways, you may be wondering, what are you gonna do today, girl? And here's the thing. I'm gonna get serious for a second. I think for birthdays, you kind of have to let go of any expectations. Because at the end of the day, you care about your birthday more than anyone else will ever care. And you can't make people care. And that sucks. I had like this whole birthday thing that I planned like up, down, and sideways. It was gonna be super fun. We we're gonna go here and then here and then boom and then i had like reservations made everything was lit and awesome and everyone was like yes i would love to go i would love to come and then when it came down to it mama either they didn't answer or they couldn't all of a sudden some of them genuinely couldn't go but others like just didn't come and now i should really back my seat up so it looks cooler and i was like really just like stressed and sad i was like well fuck now i have nothing to do and no one to do it with and i was just really like not happy because i wanted to have a good birthday i mean it's my 21st i've never had like a good party or anything honestly though maybe it was a sign because i don't even care about drinking one thing about me is that i don't like drink or do like anything because it just doesn't interest me at all yeah so i don't know just remember that everything is a lesson and if things don't work out you gotta step back and think why you know maybe this was a sign that like some of these people i don't need to keep around for much longer diva you know i'm still gonna have a good birthday regardless i was really like crying <laughs> I like really upset because like girl i felt so abandoned like a sad lost little freaking puppy in the rain like i really felt like that like internally like a sad dog on the side of the road oh my god no but it's okay today we are gonna be vlogging um this is a really kind of sad start to the vlog but it's okay i'm taking you guys on my birthday extravaganza we're gonna try and make the best out of this day even though it didn't work out but it's fine just live life and be happy and just be happy that you get another birthday because bitch someone i got to wake up today and somebody out there didn't multiple people actually probably in the hundreds bring me some good luck little cat please i beg some good b day luck oh the people at the library are like clocking into work now so i should probably head the freak out if there is one thing guaranteed in this world it's that i will be late to anything and everything all of the time i don't know why it's just like in my dna to be late constantly so we have an hour to get ready i came home and then i had to finish making my cake like i had to put it in the oven and that set me behind so far so it's 10 o'clock and we have to leave at 11. Oh. So we're meeting my friend at 12.30. So I'm gonna take the train that's at 11.30 to get there. Cause girl, I kind of live a little bit far away. But it's fine, we're gonna make it and it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna have a great awesome day, right guys? Right. My dream though for my birthday one year is to go to Japan. Oh my God, that is my dream. Because I was born in the spring, Dur, it's April. And that's when all the cherry blossoms, oh. that's when all the cherry blossoms bloom. And I've never been outside the country or anything. So I just, I really want to go. That would be so fun for my birthday. Or at least like around my birthday, maybe in like April, you know, sometime. That's my dream. Let's hope that it happens one day. Japan is 
pretty expensive to get to, so let's just make a wish, I guess. And uh, maybe I'll make it there. Hopefully. Actually, you know what? I will make it there. I will. I will make it to Japan for my birthday and watch the freaking cherry blossoms bloom and be on like a cute little bridge and the wind will blow and the cherry blossoms will fall down and I will be so happy and I will be smiling ear to ear and no one would be able to tell me anything because my dream came true. I'll be waiting. I'm definitely running late. Okay guys, update time. We definitely missed the train. Actually, I know it for a fact because Literally, I was pressing the lock button on my car doors, about to step out, and I hear the engine start, and it just starts chugging away. But it's fine. I'm not discouraged, because it's my birthday, and I can't be upset, you know? You know what's so crazy? I've barely ever missed the train. Usually, like, even if I'm running super late, I always make it. Like, I just always make it. It's, like, almost rigged in my favor, the fact that I always make it. And the one day, like, it's my birthday, I don't make it. Also, I have to pee so bad. Like, I skipped going pee for this. Can you believe? What are we gonna do? Let's think of a new plan. When is the next train? 72 minutes. The next train's in 72 fucking minutes. That's not gonna work, unfortunately. A few moments later. Okay, guys, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so basically, how the... Massachusetts Bay transportation works. I have to drive 30 minutes away to be able to get on the different train. So we're gonna drive 30 minutes away and then we're gonna get on the red line. It's totally fine. I'm so happy. I definitely don't have to pee at all. I'm really just happy, happy to be 21. Guys, I don't wanna fucking, mind you, I'm so bad at driving. I'm literally terrible. Successfully paired. Please don't bother me right now. We're gonna try to make it fun though, okay? And I'm not gonna cry. Even though I cry over everything, I'm not gonna cry. Cause my makeup came out really good. One eternity later. Okay, I made it to the train station. I didn't cry. I was driving in these demonias that are like four inches tall. So I wanted to cry cause I couldn't control the gas pedal and I was fumbling around on the highway, but it's fine. Here's me in this trash can. I thought we were matching. It's not a funny joke now that I'm thinking about it. Here's Massachusetts, pretty hideous, I can't lie. Now we're inside the train station. Girl, this place was spooky ooky dookie. Look at that, that is terrifying, bruh. That is meth waiting to happen. Anyways, once you get out, it's pretty cute actually. Like, come on Boston, I love a cute little tree. Who doesn't love a cute little tree? Here's Boston, if you've never seen Boston in your life. We've got a lot of red brick, a lot of trees. We have fire hydrants with beanies on them because why not? We're hipstery. Then we made it to the restaurant. Yes, we're having brunch at this place called Frenchie's in Back Bay and we're in a little freaking cute little greenhouse and it's got this floral wallpaper on the wall and there was cherry blossoms outside and it was so adorable. I was so happy. We got duck hash with poached eggs and then I got french toast with some fresh berries and like this chocolate sauce that was so good. My friend Devin got craves. That's my friend Devin, by the way. Here he is. Say hi, Devin. <laughs> Anyways, this is outside. There was bamboo in the garden that was out there. It was honestly so cute and sweet. And there were these weird, like, leafy kind of things. I don't know what they're called. Here's me, guys. Look at me posing. I had my first ever drink. It was a raspberry bellini. Here's me forgetting to lock in. I immediately got awkward and I f just felt bad. I feel like I was ruining people's time with my stupid camera. So that was over pretty quick. After that, we walked around Newbury Street. It's like this really overrated street with a bunch of shops and shit on it. But there was a loot llama store, so <laughs> I couldn't complain too much. There's actually this really cute pottery place I've never seen before. And it had people's artwork like displayed out on the street. And it was so cute. They had so many cute cups and mugs. I, If y'all don't know, I love, 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 love cups and mugs. Like, look Look at these. <laughs> After that, we ended up going to this mystery shop, stationery type store. 
it was so cute they had so many different blind boxes and items we spent like over an hour in here just looking at i i didn't even buy anything by the way actually i bought one thing but it wasn't even a mystery item i was just too busy going like oh so cute so cute they had so many cute pens though for real like if i had a use for a pen i would have bought them all look at these they're like jiggly wigglers i don't even know but they were fun to play with they were adorable here's me clonking around in my big shoes y'all i told you i was driving in those that's crazy to me anyways look at this little cutie pie oh my god i mean for 57 dollars he wasn't that cute but this was adorable it's a tissue box like can you believe come on now i thought it would be funny to sign my quote-unquote autograph i was being like goofy though i wasn't being serious so here i am signing my autograph oh my god someone go find it i'm joking no i'm putting the drink down so i can break it <laughs> imagine I wanted these so bad, but they were sold out. Like, of course the cute ones are sold out. Are you kidding me? I couldn't even get one little crumb for my birthday. Come on. Guys, this store is so cute. We went back outside and I felt so special. They hung up a poster just for me on my birthday. Just kidding. It was for Taylor freaking Swift, not for me. <laughs> It's 8.30 p.m. It's my 21st birthday, and I bet you're wondering, Kenzie, what are you doing? I'm watching the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race. That's what I'm doing. So in my original birthday plans, I was going to skip watching the finale of Drag Race, and that actually made me really sad. I literally said to my mom, I'm serving forehead realness, by the way. Anyways, I said to my mom, I was like, I'm so sad like that I'm missing the finale of Drag Race because it's gonna get spoiled and I can't watch it live. Mind you, I watch every single episode of Drag Race live. Every single Friday, 8 p.m. sharp, I am sat in this bed in front of my TV watching this damn show. Honestly, I don't know why I was gonna skip it and do all these plans because I'm so much happier like sitting here watching a show that I love and enjoy than I would be like out at some like gross bar or like out at the club like i am so comfortable i came home i took a shower i put on this little face mask and now i'm sitting here and i'm so happy like honestly i really am as much as i wish i could have done something super crazy and fun and out there like this is just as good anyways i guess just do whatever makes you happy no matter how big or how small don't feel like you have to do something big and huge and grand for your birthday every year or for any event really like as long as you're doing like what makes you happy no matter what it is always put that ahead of any like expectation that you have you know or what you feel like you should do okay guys i am not having a cake today because i'm having a cake tomorrow but i have half of this crumble for cookie that's birthday cake flavored we're gonna put in these candles Okay, and we're gonna make a wish because it's my birthday. so much for watching and i hope that you have a wonderful birthday this year as well or you know you already had one and it was really good okay toodles my favorite part about birthdays that i'm like obsessed with is just like the random fucking people on facebook that like your mom posts and they're like oh my god i remember when i was old and how i'm changing a diaper and i picked her up from preschool that one time it's crazy how the years fly by like i'm actually obsessed like period you remember me like you remember me all those years ago? Oh my god, I'm like living in your brain? P period, you did get me from preschool that one time. Let that live in your memory forever. 